Another item to check on the engine before you get ready to um, do your seal up on it. Now this doesn't apply so much with engines with stock diameter lifters, but as I said before, this engine actually has 904 diameter lifters, which means they're bigger in diameter. Um, one of the things to check for, and uh, I'll rotate this over a little bit, is you can see the cam lobe is to make sure that with the bigger diameter lifter is that none of the uh, cam lobes from the opposing bank of the engine infringe upon the bottom of the lifter bore, meaning the opposing lifter is going to tap the side of the lifter. So I've checked this one. Uh, it is pretty close. So what I'm going to do is when I put in the lifters is I'll show you how we uh, take a little tiny bit of material off the side of the lifter just to give it some extra clearance. Uh, when you start getting into the really big diameter lifters like uh, the uh, 937s and things like that, some of the manufacturers have already uh, done this uh, from the uh, side of, on the side of the lifters when they machine them. Uh, you can also narrow the lobes on the cam, uh, and if you're ordering a custom uh, billet uh, cam that was made from a round core, you can specify that you want the lobes narrow so that you don't uh, hit any opposing uh, lobes. Uh, standard cores like what this is, uh, we had a hard enough time getting this Cleveland core as it was. So I was happy to get uh, what Cleveland core I could get with this kind of duration and this kind of lift on it.